Hello and welcome to Top University. I'm here to teach you everything that has happened in the Clancy era so far. So much has happened. As of right now, it's April 3rd and this stuff has been going on since like mid-February. So we have a lot to dig into. Also, I'm sorry if this looks bad. <laughs> I spent an hour and a half trying to set this up and make this look good. So if you can't see something, sorry. And please ignore the nails in my walls. There were posters here and I had to take them all down because I wasn't about to put up a sheet because I wanted to use my black wall and the lights. Okay, anyway, let's get into it. What happened in February, Hannah? Well, I'll tell you. First, on February 15th, we got some really cryptic things happening on Spotify and Apple Music. We had red tape put on these albums, weird. Everybody was freaking out. Nobody knew what that meant. But take note here that all the tape is covering up the eyes of everyone on these albums, except Blurry Face, which the tape is covering the circle that represents Keons. I'm not gonna get into all that, but just know that Keons is dead in the Dima storyline right now. I've heard it be speculated and analyzed or whatever that the red tape on the eyes represents that these characters have died. Don't know how accurate that is. Anyway, moving on. On the same day, and really like for about a week after that, I think it was about a thousand people or 1500 people around the world were sent these letters from Dima and inside of these red envelopes was a new Clancy letter. Cryptic shit was happening. I was not lucky enough to get one of these letters, but if you were, congratulations, that's freaking amazing. On the 17th, a new logo dropped and there were posters with this logo all around the world and people were like, what's going on? What does this mean? On the 23rd of February, the I Am Clancy video dropped. This video summed up the entire Dima storyline in four minutes. Tyler Joseph summed up like 10 years of lore in a four minute video. Anyway, so not only did it explain all the lore, but at the very end of it, we got a little snippet, a little sample of overcompensate, which we didn't know was overcompensate at the time. Until February 29th, when overcompensate dropped, the music video dropped on YouTube. And not only was overcompensate announced, the album Clancy was announced. The album cover was announced. The album name was announced. The album release date was announced May 17th. Get ready. They had merch drop on their website. I did not pre-order anything i really should have i regret not doing that but i didn't have the money at the time march we're moving on to march now so much happened in march this isn't too too important these are just behind the scenes pictures from the music video shoot of overcompensate the next week march 15th we got the rock sound pictures for their issue of rock sound which i really want to get i hope that's not sold out i kind of want to get it it's only like 16 dollars so if you're interested, go get it. This, this is so exciting. On the same day, Tyler Joseph tweeted that there will be music videos for every single song on Clancy. Let me say that again. There will be music videos for every song on Clancy. Get ready. <laughs> There's about to be a lot of content on my channel. I am the most excited about this, okay? I can't freaking wait. This isn't really band related, but I do want to throw this in here. Okay, so around Christmas, Tyler Joseph was like, we're having a third kid, so exciting. But then on March 16th, Jenna said that their third kid is going to be a boy. I just, that's just cute and happy and exciting news. I just wanted to throw that in there. On the 21st of March, we get some behind the scenes pictures and a little, iPhone teaser video of next semester. Ooh, and then on March 25th, this picture showed up on Ticketmaster. Obviously, they were gonna be dropping tour dates soon. The next day, on the 26th, they didn't drop the dates yet, but there were a lot of these posters all around the world at venues. So basically, 
anywhere that this poster was, that's where they were gonna play. Because the next day, when next semester came out, they announced all of those tour dates. Who got their tickets? I can't believe I did. And I also can't believe that I managed to get tickets to a Columbus show. So there's that. If you're going to the Saturday Columbus show on October 5th, say, hey, <laughs> I did not get floor seats. I, I'm, I'm too old for that. I barely got like seat seats. It was the most stressful experience and I had to do it on my phone because I'm an idiot. So <laughs> it was rough, but we got it. We've secured the bag, we're going. This now leads us into this month. Obviously it's still early. So the only thing that has happened so far is we got behind the scenes pictures of next semester. That's pretty much all that has happened. However, will we be getting another single before the album drop? I think so, because let's do some math here. So. February 29th, Overcompensate dropped. A month-ish later, next semester drops. I'm thinking the next single and the next music video will probably drop somewhere around the 24th, 25th, 26th of April. Because then after that, we only have two more weeks until the whole album drops, which I'm sure we will probably get, well, no, we'll get all of the music videos on that day, hopefully. I really hope so. On May 17th, I want to sit down at my computer and I want all of these music videos to be dropped at the same time and I want them to be in a playlist. Tyler, I need you to do this for me. I need you to put all of the music videos from Clancy in a playlist on YouTube in order so that all I have to do is hit play and I watch them all in order. I can do a giant reaction video. That's how I'll listen to the album is through the music videos. Make it happen, Tyler. In conclusion, what are your thoughts and predictions? Let me know. Again, I think we will be getting another single around the end of April. And then I th hope on May 17th, when the album drops, we get all of the music videos all at once in a ginormous playlist. If not, I'm gonna be a little sad. Not gonna lie, I'm gonna be a little sad. So let me know in the comments down below what you think, what are your thoughts, what do you think is gonna happen next? What do you think the next single is? I don't know, because they did release the track list. So leave your guesses as to what the next single might be. Also, if I missed any important news, please let me know. I will hopefully try to do a part two and have that up like right before the album drops to cover what happens from now until May 17th. <laughs> That's all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was fun and educational. See you guys when there's more news or something else to react to. Goodbye. Okay,